Oh my gosh, ask to dance, wait. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh! So we have a suitor. Oh my gosh, there's another. Oh my gosh, there's so many! Get off my properties, like that's enough, that's enough. Hello everybody, today we are going to be doing a review of the Regency Romance mod by Jane Sims Stan. I'm so excited to get to this mod, it has been recommended to me for a while now. This mod has actually been out for over a year and I'm just now getting to it and since I didn't see a lot of videos on the mod, I thought I would do a video for you guys. And this is going to be my first time seeing the mod, I've kind of done a quick scan of everything and oh my goodness there is so much to this mod i am so excited to show you all also i have a little mini series announcement at the end of this video so make sure to stay tuned so all the information and link to download this mod is in the video description below. It does come with this PDF with a bunch of information which I find very, very helpful. I won't go into full detail with it because as I said, there's a lot to this mod and we would be here forever if I did. So I'm just going to do a quick scan, but most of it we're going to see in game. So the PDF does contain information on how to install. So if you don't know how to install mods, you can look at the instructions here. I also have a video tutorial that I will link below of how to install mods. But this mod contains new aspirations, new traits, new careers, etiquette skills, animated fans, a ball event, social classes, estates, presentation to society slash scandals. It contains information with Lady Whistledown. So Lady Whistledown is definitely in this mod. If you've seen Bridgerton, you know who that is. And then a few other information, including the cheats as well. So the Sims I am using to show you all this mod today are from a couple generations ago of my Winterberg royal family from my royal family series. So I didn't download the whole family, just a few of them to show you all. For this mod review specifically, I have only downloaded Prince George. So sisters aren't a part of this one, but that is okay. So let's get started first with the aspirations. So I have given them a few aspirations. For example, Queen Ezra. So one of the two aspirations are truly accomplished. Information about this aspiration. So it's found in the knowledge aspiration category. This aspiration takes its inspiration from Darcy and Bingley's conversation about what makes a person truly accomplished. The third level of this aspiration requires the development of the etiquette skill included with this mod. Sims who complete this aspiration will be rewarded with the accomplished trait, which will cause every Sim they meet to be immediately impressed with them. And then Prince George here, I have given him the reformed rake trait, or sorry, not trait, the reformed rake aspiration. So this aspiration is found in the romance category. This aspiration is inspired by the male main characters in the first two seasons of Bridgerton. The first half of the mod requires the sim to explore romantically, and the second half asks them to find their soulmate. Sims who complete this aspiration will be rewarded with the settle trait, which will give them periodic positive buffs and increase charisma, parenting, and friendship gain. He also has the rake trait, so the only new personality trait that actually made it into the mod is the rake trait. Rakes are are lovable scoundrels and have much greater success in romance and especially in bed. They have special buffs when woohooing and can perform a I don't know if it's rackish introduction or rakish introduction, which will start new acquaintances off on a steamy footing. Other traits included in this mod is incomparable, wealth trait, class trait, and reward traits. There's also some new careers. There's a servant, there's military, and there's house of lords, which is a respectful career for your gentry. If your sim has the aristocracy trait, they may claim a seat for free from the mailbox. There's also etiquette skills, which unlocks the ability to practice curtsy or bows, and then more will unlock at the later levels. So unlocks the ability to send mean and friendly letters. You can perform gentlemanly or ladylike introduction. You can introduce sins at social gathering and you can read direct conversations, which gets rid of any negative social context, which I feel like is super helpful. There's also animated fans, which we will see a ball event, which we will not be able to get to in this mod review, but a ball operates just like any other social gathering with associated goals and achievements, except that they may be mentioned in Lady whistle down. Sims will autonomously ask each other to dance if they are guests. It is recommended that you have a piano and hiring an entertainer will accomplish one of your event goals. There's also social classes. So there's wealth traits, class traits, 
inheriting class traits, which I think is very cool, so it'll go down generations. And there's other information about estates, grandeurs, so this you can read yourself. I'm not gonna get too into it. There's leasing land, which is actually really cool. This one is very interesting. I wish I could get to this in the bottom review, but I don't think we can. But bachelor and debutante presentations. Teen and young adult sims who are rich can make their entrance to society by being presented to the queen. This interaction can be found in the Regency Pie menu on the mailbox and will take sims to a short rabbit hole. When they return, they will have the bachelor or debutante trait and will be subject to the effects of scandal, which is so cool. Incomparables. It is possible for your sim to return from the presentation as the incomparables of the season. Multiple incomparables can be chosen. Incomparable sims will receive more invitations to events and will have much greater success in building friendships and romances. And there's information about scandals. I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory. There's ruiny, which is very, very nice. So your actions have consequences. Okay, so I have just had Prince George invite Princess Isabel over. We'll say that they've already had a bachelor debutante ball and already been presented to society. And he met Princess Isabel there and he's got a little bit of a crush on her. Of course, with his aspiration, it's implied that he has had flirty interactions with other sims prior to, so we'll pretend that he has already. Why don't we, well, I guess you should invite her in as well, but why don't we see what interactions we can do? So Regency, ask to court. Oh my gosh, choose parcel color. So is this for him or is this for her? Because if it's for him, let's do purple. Oh wait, okay, but you guys should like take a walk in the garden, I think. Also, don't they need like a chaperone usually for this stuff? Like they can't be unattended, I'm, I learned that from Bridgerton. All right, okay, so she's coming out here. They're gonna take a walk in the garden. We'll say the queen is watching them from afar. So why doesn't she sit right here? And then let's see, so as to court, why don't we do that? What does that, what does that mean? Uh, uh, let, let's find out. Okay, so he's asking her to court. Miss, Mr. Prince George Windenburg has entered into a courtship with Miss Princess Isabel. <gasps> oh! Ooh, okay. So, okay, all right, so let's see what else. So Regency choose part and courtship. Is this like a date? Oh my gosh, ask to dance, wait, wait. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, wait, oh my gosh. Ugh. You guys, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, oh my gosh, this is amazing. <gasps> Oh, I decided not to do a face cam with this video, but I wish y'all could see my face right now. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, so they're dancing. This is amazing. King, oh, King, oh, King Henry earned, uh, money from Winterberg Estate. Lease land, build improvements, and maintain the estate to increase his earnings. Y'all, this is so in-depth. It gets so complicated. This is great. I think he can intend to marry, though. So if we go to Regency, oh, there's also etiquette. Dab face with handkerchief practice. Bow and fan self. Okay, I wanna have her fan herself. What's cleaning? Mend clothes, scrub floor, polish silver. So this is for the servants, I guess. And then they can open the parasol. Okay, declare intent to marry. To be fair, back then, they like barely knew the other person and would get to married. So, you know, maybe he's decided at this point. Also, the queen is supposed to be chaperoning. Hello, sit. I wonder if Isabel has her approval. That would be so cool to explore. Etiquette skill acquired. He would have probably already had this. Prince George is practicing good etiquette. He can now practice his curtsy or bow as the skill increases. He will learn to write letters, rescue conversations, and other social niceties. Ooh. All right, let's 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 stop with the dancing for now. It's very cute, but we need to move on. Prince George has publicly declared his intent to marry. He may now receive visits and invitations. Oh, oh my gosh. So if he declares it, other people will come to him. Okay, all right, so real quick, let's just see the other. Oh, 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 this is, is this a suitor, a neighbor? Okay, well, you know, there's nothing we can do about the people dressed normally. We're gonna have to ask you to leave, ma'am. We're in the middle of something. You need to go, just go away, please. Yes, ma'am, okay, thank you. Uh, Oh, right, she's doing push-ups. So why don't we do, I wanna see a few things. I wanna see the aerosol, uh, and then also she can practice curtsy and fan self. Okay, oh my gosh, guys. 
guys, look at this. I love this, this is great. They said with the fan too, you could hit someone with the fan and you can flirt with the fan. So there's a lot of things we could do with the fan. You can open parcel. Yeah, okay, beaut. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. <gasps> Oh, I love it. Okay, a few other things I want to see. I'm curious about Lady Whistledown. It says you can unsubscribe from Lady Whistledown, or I also don't know how involved Lady Whistledown is in the, uh, oh, check attractiveness. Wait, check attractiveness, oh my gosh, okay, of Isabel. What are people saying about Isabel? She wants to, She she's curious. If her son is trying to court this girl, this princess, she wants to see what Lady Whistledown is writing about. Her. Lady Whistledown writes, not all of us can be the luckiest in matrimony. I suppose Miss Princess Isabel's who might make a tolerable match for someone. Tolerable? Wait, is that not a good thing? Tolerable? That doesn't sound great. Like, it doesn't sound like glowing reviews. You can also read the papers to so see, I guess, what else they're saying. A last year reader, I am bored of as of late. The season stumbles along and whisperings of the ton have all but been silenced. Gossip these days is in short supply. In fact, this author can think of no event that even merits a mention. Okay, so, oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so we have a suitor. Oh my goodness, the way that she's dressed. Oh no. Take flowers, invite in, Regency, accept suitor, reject suitor. What happens if he rejects her? Okay, okay, let's see. What is he? What is happening? Oh my gosh, there's another. <gasps> there's another. What if he just takes the flowers? Okay, well now their relationship went down. I guess that makes sense. Oh my gosh, there's so many. They, they, they all come in in just like a second. <laughs> Get off of my property. He's like, that's enough. That's enough. Oh, he probably wouldn't be that rude, but you know. Okay, he's taking the flowers from this lady. How, how would this work? I'm so, wait, come back. Go. He's running off with the flowers. Okay, so it doesn't look like Isabel, like as I'm controlling her can give him some. I'm assuming maybe if I wasn't controlling, then she, oh gosh, her legs are missing, but that she would maybe just show up with flowers and become a suitor. All right, I think that is everything we're gonna show in this overview video. Now, for my mini series announcement, in case it wasn't obvious yet, I will be doing a Royal Regency mini series. The first episode will come out January 2024. It will be following one of the previous monarchs of Windenburg. However, I have not settled on who yet. It is between King Henry III, who we saw as the king in this video, and Prince George. I will be putting a poll out on my community post in a few weeks. If you have a preference, you are also welcome to tell me in the comments below. Let me know if you're going to download this mod and give it a try. Thank you to Jane Simpson for making this mod because this is very in-depth and so cool and goes very well with royalty. I'm not sure if I'd be able to keep it in for my mod. Modern royalty gameplay, I might be able to, so we'll have to see. If this was helpful and you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.